In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use your iPhone as a GPS for iNavX on your Wi-Fi only iPad. You'll have to enable a hotspot on your iPhone for this to work. You can look up how to do that. This shows a little bit. You will need to find and download GPS to IP uh, for your iPhone. The easiest way to do that is to launch the App Store and do a search for GPS to IP. Now I already have it. Uh, you will have to purchase it because it is not a free app. But it's not particularly expensive. So open GPS to IP and you'll need to take care of some settings. You may see this page first. Uh, if you do, tap the I in the lower right hand corner and make sure that you've got these settings selected. Select socket and for me to get mine to work I have to use cellular IP. Be sure to join your iPad to the iPhone hotspot. Now we need to launch iNavX and tap the instruments item in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen, then tap the TCP IP item in the upper left hand corner. What we need to do is make sure that the TCP IP host, the IP um, address for the host, and the port are the same as in uh, GPS to IP. Once you have these settings in place, dismiss the keyboard and toggle the link on. You should begin to see that you have uh, NMEA sentences, green lettering that is, in the little console at the bottom of the screen. Tap the done item and your connection is via TCP IP for position. And then if you tap the chart item in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen, you should find that you now have an accurate position for uh, on your iPad by using uh, GPS to IP on your phone to share its IP address and its GPS location. If you found this helpful, give me a like and subscribe to Jim Sales.